Welcome back children. So today <clears throat> we will do evaporation. Now what is evaporation? <clears throat> the process by which a liquid changes to its gaseous state below its boiling point. That is called as evaporation. Now you must have seen that <clears throat> wet clothes dry up, water kept in a bucket keeps on decreasing in volume. Now why does this happen? <clears throat> you know that in water <clears throat> or in any liquid the molecules are in constant motion now some of the particles which are present at the surface they absorb energy from the environment and their kinetic energy increases as their kinetic energy increases they move with greater rapidity, they collide with the particles beside and after attaining sufficient kinetic energy, they are capable of leaving the surface and going into air. So this is how evaporation occurs. The particles which are at the surface of the liquid gain sufficient kinetic energy to come out of the force of attraction of the particles surrounding them and they go into air. So this is how evaporation occurs. So evaporation can be defined as <clears throat> the phenomena by which a liquid changes to its vapor state at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation. Now children, <clears throat> there are certain factors on which the rate of evaporation depends. First, increase in temperature. Second, increase in surface area. Third, Decrease in humidity. Four, increase in wind speed. 
Now let us explain this. First, increase in temperature. When the temperature of the environment increases, the rate of evaporation also increases. You must have observed that evaporation of water from wet clothes is faster in summer than in the rainy season. Why? Because in summer season, the temperature of the surrounding is very high. As a result, evaporation of water from wet clothes becomes faster. Very simple. The water particles absorb heat from the surrounding quickly. They gain enough kinetic energy and leave the wet surface and go into air. Next is <clears throat> increase in surface area. Now you must have observed that whenever you want to dry wet clothes, you hang them on a rope or on a wire by spreading them, right? Not by folding them, but by spreading them. Now why? Now whenever you spread, the total surface area, the total wet surface area is increased and water particles are allowed to move away from the wet cloth quickly, many at a time. You must have also seen that in summer season, the pond in your locality will dry up faster than the well at home. What is the reason? The total surface area of a pond from which water evaporates is much more than the total surface area of water in the well. Clear? So by increase in surface area, the rate of evaporation increases. Next you come to increase in, uh, decrease in humidity. Now what is humidity? Humidity is the total quantity of water vapor which the atmosphere can hold at a given temperature. Now if the quantity of water vapor in the air is less then evaporation will be faster. For this reason you will find that in the rainy season it becomes difficult for wet clothes to become dry because the atmosphere, atmosphere is already filled with lot of water molecules. Lot of water vapor is there in the atmosphere. Hence the rate of evaporation of water will be much less. But in summer season, when the atmosphere do not have much humidity, when the humidity is much less, evaporation becomes faster. Lastly, wind speed. You must have observed that when a gentle wind is blowing, the clothes dry up faster which are spread on the ropes or on the wire kept on your terrace. Why? Because as the velocity, wind, velocity of wind increases, as the speed of wind increases, it hits the water molecules in the wet cloth, it strikes the water molecules on the wet cloth and drives them away and takes them away with it, carries them away with it. For this reason, <coughs> rate of evaporation increases with increasing speed. So children, please remember these four factors on which the rate of evaporation depends. First is increase in temperature, means increase in temperature of the environment. Second is increase in surface area. Third, 
decrease in humidity and fourth increase in wind speed so these four conditions makes the rate of evaporation faster so thank you for today in the next class i will tell you the difference between evaporation and boiling